In this exercise we have a file that looks like this and we wanted to display the list once uh, sorted by name and then the second time so sorted by the number, by the score. So let's see how it looks. This is the script and um, let's run this. So we have score data pl, I run it, it tells me that I need to provide a file name. So this happens to be here, uh, I think it's txt, right? I run this and it will it displays um, first the list according to the, the scores according to sorted according to name and the second time in a descending order sorts by the score. So how does it work? First of all we have the, this uh, line that will get the name of the file from the command line into the dollar file name if the user hasn't provided one then uh, hasn't provided one then it will call die and um, throw an exception that's what happened to us at the beginning then open or die just regularly open the file we have the file handle in the dollar fh and here we have a hash a score off so it will have uh, as keys the names of the users of the people in this file and this value is the score. So we go over line by line the file, jump off the line, that's it. Then no, we don't need a new line at the end. And then split according to the comma. Right? So just don't let me not confuse you. This the first three characters here, the slash, comma, slash, is the regular expression telling it to uh, split effort according to comma and then this comma is just separating the two parameters of split so this will return the key value pair so let's just uh, um, see the file this file it looks like this so we have key uh, name and uh, score is a comma between them so that's how we get into dollar name the name of the person and the dollar score the actual score so we can use the uh, hash and assign to the key name the value score. That's how we fill the, the hash that holds the names and mapped to the score. Obviously here we assume that we have every name only once. If you have the same name twice then we have a problem anyway. But we, that's what our assumption. So now we go and sort the keys of score off and we just use the regular sort function so it will sort according to the ASCII table and then we go over one by one these names so dollar name will be one of the names and then we print out using printf we are using we print it out print the, the dollar name and the score the spe uh, specific core that will allow us to have two nice columns, so it, the first column is 10 white. Then we just print the separation line, and here is the more interesting part. How do we print it out sorted by the score? So we can't sort the scores, or we can, but uh, that won't be useful, because from the score, if we have a score, we don't can't get back the, nam the name. We can't even do that. Uh, I mean, we could turn around the hash and uh, and then do that but uh, and then we can look up from the score the name but it's much more likely to have two people with the same score than to have two people with the same name uh, actually we provide probably can uh, change the name slightly if we have several people with the same name in the same competition so you would use the both family name and then first name and maybe some other signs. So how do we sort according to the value? Uh, we don't sort the values, we sort the keys again. We sort the keys, but and here is the sorting function, so we call the keys and we sort them and this block is the sorting function. So whenever you get a value in $A and $B, we just fetch the respective scores and then compare them with the spaceship operator. 
we are using it the spaceship because these are numbers and we are comparing them as numbers so and as you can see I turned it ar around so now the dollar B is first and dollar A is second and that will uh, make it a descending order otherwise it would be an ascending order it would be a growing order so and that's it that would sort the, the, the keys according to the values. So every time you have two keys, <coughs> the sort sort function will have to decide which one goes first. And the way it decides, it looks then at the, the values of these two keys, compares the values, and the higher value goes first. And that's what it's written here. So and then for each just goes over the resulting list, prints out, and then printf prints out the same thing as above that doesn't make mean uh, change.